Hand for Simulation, Global Variable, Flexible Interface. Let's see what's new in Pixel Composer 1.14. So it's been a while since the last update video. This video will cover a feature since the last 1.13 stable update. Most of these features are already available on the beta branch on each or on Steam. And in this new version, we include all the bug fixes that should make the software more stable. So the big feature in this version is the Strand Sim, which should allow you to simulate a hair and fur using different parameters and apply force onto it. And this node group will introduce new data type, which is the 2D mesh data type, which can be generated using part or the polygon shape. This mesh data type contains triangles, which can be used to, for example, draw shape or in the case of strand simulation used to generate hair in an area. Another useful feature is a global variable, which can be accessed in the inspector menu. This allows you to define values in the global score, which can be accessed anywhere inside your node using the variable names. And this should allow for better organization of your node graph. And another big feature is a big improvement on the user interface. You can now change, you can now move interface anywhere you want. You can now create new panels and you can tap it together you can save it as a workspace for using other projects. And there are also a lot of new panels, like the node panels, the tunnel panels, the color, palette, gradients, etc. There are also a lot of new nodes coming in this version. As you already know, we have the strand simulation and with the strand simulation related node, we have the new mesh manipulation, mesh creation node. We have mixed color, we have the image replaced node, which allow you to replace an instance of an image with a new one, which can be really useful when you doing something like user interface. There are crop content nodes that will automatically crop out the empty space from your image. There are pack sprite node, which allow you to pack in a sprite of different sites in together using different algorithms. There is a L system or Linden major system, which allow you to create part generatively. There are also a new array filter node groups that allow you to filter out member in the array using node graph as a condition. Not only that, in the inspector menu, you will see that there is now new tab. There is a node properties that you control property of the node and there's also node setting. It allows you to change more parameters, like for example, the oversample setting or the newly introduced texture interpolation setting or the color depth setting. It's also an improvement on an individual node. There's a lot to go here. Like for example, a part transform, you can do now transform the part inside the part node itself. You can detach anchor point so that it's not mirrored anymore. You have a mesh wrap improvement. We have a scatter blend mode, particle quality direction, turning property, padding to size mode, colors, noise, and so on. There are also a lot more bug fix this time as well. The full release node will be in the description. You should check it out because there is a lot of change here, especially with the curve data type and gradient data type, something that might break when you're loading a file from the previous version. And that's all for this feature video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Also, I will start working on more tutorial video now. I'm sorry that I went silent for a while. I'm moving to Germany and things are quite hectic around here. So I'm um, just start to set up my place and it's getting a little better now. So expect more tutorial video. And also Mac build is coming. I'm still working on it. However, right now I still don't have access to my Mac mini since I moved. So I need to go buy some more stuff before we can set up or continue the Mac development. It's quite confusing. I never worked on Mac before. So please be patient on that as well. But that's all for today. Thank you.